CFP expansion. Why don't we go on and talk about that a little bit? Um, Ross Dellinger hit on this a uh, couple of days ago and basically is giving us a little bit of insight into the meetings that were taking place in Chicago. Ross Dellinger, of course, over at Sports Illustrated. Uh, we know that the college football playoff is expanding to 12 teams. We know that. There's going to be six automatic qualifiers. That is the six, uh, six highest-rated conference champions, highest-ranked conference champions. And there will be six wild-card teams, right? The at-larges, if you will, those that did not win a conference. Uh, so you're going to have 12 teams. And now we're just trying to figure out whether or not it's going to happen in 2026 or 2024. It, the biggest thing that we know is... It, it's going to be difficult to get it done before 2024. ESPN owns the rights to the whole thing in 2024 and 2025, but it goes to market on 2020 or in 2026. So at that point, you we don't know if 2024 and 2025 is going to include multiple networks. Uh, ESPN, Jimmy Pitaro, the president of ESPN, has said yes, uh, that they are willing to work with others because they may not be able to broadcast all of them. What they may end up doing is selling some of those rights off to other broadcast partners. Uh, as we've learned from Bob Thompson and, and other people, there isn't really a feud going on between Fox and ESPN and everybody else. Uh, what we're figuring out is they are willing to work together, especially for the greater good of something that's going to to grow exponentially. Right, it feels like college football this year, especially the ratings have just gone through the roof. Uh, but when you start to look at what's actually happening here, you know we we had a couple of years where all these commissioners seemed to not like each other. They weren't willing to work with each other. The Big Ten convinced the ACC and the Pac-12 to vote against CFP expansion. Well, then the presidents came in and said, "No, we are going to do expansion." Period. Y'all get in there and figure it out. And they want it done by 2024. That's the bottom line. They want it done by 2024 because they want to go ahead and get this thing started to calm the waters, as I was saying about realignment, et cetera, to smooth everything out, to, to get us to a state somewhat of stability, get everything to even out a little bit. And while this is still going on, yeah, we just talked about the Big Ten still looking at expansion, et cetera, and the next few weeks are going to be huge regarding that. Um, but the CFP presidents adopted the 12-team expansion model about a month ago. Uh, basically, let's, let's dive into what we know thus far. These are all things that you can read in Ross Dellinger's article over at SI.com. It says the 2026 playoff might look different. And what he means by that is 2026 is going to look different than the 2024 and 2025 playoff models. Not as far as the number of teams or the AQs or anything like that. The... Though all of that is still going to stay the same. We're talking about the schedule, the calendar, et cetera, because they are looking into possibly moving where you had some teams play on week zero. Now you may move the entire calendar back a week so that you can get in more of these playoff games at a decent time, right, in 2024, 2025, whatever. Uh, some of these calendars have already been done, et cetera. They, they may just rip all this crap up. Who knows? Uh, but what we know right now, uh, Prepare for midweek playoff games. It says, prepare for first-round playoff games to kick off on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or maybe all three. Uh, it says, this is expected, as reported by Sports Illustrated. And what to, he said, you'd like to have a game in its own window. As you know, there are just three windows. There's 12 p.m., 4, and 8. Yes. Uh, and then there's also the Friday window, which the Pac-12 takes advantage of for its own championship game uh, every single season. It, this is this is going to be weird because some of this stuff is going to go up against NFL playoff games and NFL regular season games. So you're going to have to go to bat against the NFL. Uh, the college football got out of that business a little while ago. Remember uh, when the NFL set Thursday night as like a big night for themselves? College football just kind of took some of those premier games that we would watch on Thursday nights on ESPN. They kind of took some of those off the table. Uh, for example, this week... Yeah, and I know this is coming out on Thursday night, but you, you'll still get the point. This week, you've got the Miami Dolphins and the Cincinnati Bengals playing on Thursday night football on Amazon. ESPN has, going against it, Utah State and BYU. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I, as a diehard and a fan of the sicko football games, I'm going to watch Utah State and BYU. But there's a lot of people that do not give a rip about either one of those schools that are out on the West Coast. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It, it's just, it's mind-blowing to me that, that they're not willing to counter-program, right? We, everybody understands that the NFL is the big bad beast. But if you put up at least something against it, then you can still get good ratings. There are people that will turn on both if they have two televisions. There's a lot more people that have two televisions than you think. Uh, ESPN holds the rights in 2024 and 2025 for the CFP. And like I said, they don't have to sell it. They don't have to give it away. They can do whatever they want with it. It just it, It's up to them. Uh, it says home games are happening. So the first round games will be on campus stadiums. Uh, the commissioner's discussions are not changing that whatsoever. It's not going to be moving to bowl games. Those teams will get to host home games. And that's a big, big deal. Now, uh, here's what we don't know as far as Ross's article. When the first expanded playoff begins, we don't know if it's 2024, 20, 25, or 26. They want it by 24. 26, it is happening. Bottom line. Uh, but there's a possibility if they can't get it done by 2024, uh, well, they'll do it in 25, and they'll just have one year where it's a little weird, uh, but it will start the wheels in motion. Uh, after that, the exact dates of playoff rounds, still have no clue. Don't know how we're going to work around Christmas. Don't know how we're going to work around New Year's, etc. Are we going to do quarterfinals on New Year's? Are we going to do semis on New Year's? Are we? What are we going to do? We still got to figure that out. Uh, if this was an eight-team model, it would make a lot more sense because you could do that first round December 16th and 17th or whatever the, the date is that's right after the Army-Navy weekend. But as it sits right now, you're going to have to probably go up against Army and Navy if Army-Navy are going to stay in that same solo window after championship week which is just weird. The calendar is going to be moved, bottom line. Um, we also don't know the revenue distribution model. Uh, and part of that is because we don't know what conferences are going to be around, right? I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, George Klyovkov just got into his role as the commissioner of the Pac-12. If the Big Ten goes ahead and takes four more teams, yeah, there's not going to be a Pac-12. So there would be no reason for the Pac-12 member institutions to get any cut of the playoff because they won't be around. So then what does the revenue model look like if there's only nine conferences as opposed to 10? And then what do the independents get? And then what do, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that is going to be something that they've got to figure out. It, this is a, it's a strange time to be involved in college football. I mean, good gracious. All this crap is going on, and we've got games to talk about. Games to talk about. I mean, just... Ridiculous. Ridiculous that this is happening in the middle of the season. And unless they're just wanting it to go away and, and nobody to talk about it, which I can understand. However, that's not what I do. I got to know what's going on in this sport. I'm going to guess that you guys do as well because, hey, you watch the, vo uh, the videos, you listen to the podcast. Um, I know that you are as interested as I am. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.